Hi, this is a rod end bearing that I just finished designing and printing with OpenSCAD. And what it is, is it's a partial sphere inside an outer shell where there's a hole in the in the sphere and there's a hole in the end for so it can be mounted on a, on a rod of some kind and the sphere moves around freely so you can see I can rotate it all around and it turns and and uh, it sticks on some points but um, yeah it's right for a first try and it could be improved by just sanding around the edges which which you would be free to do and um, I can show you uh, for example I printed a, a uh, this is a 3D printed rod here and I can put that in the end so now it's mounted and the application I was interested in for for this type of bearing is um, if you have a uh, if you want to move something with a servo motor um, <clears throat> you might want to move something like this up and down and you can mount the uh, the rod and bearing here and then you can the servo motor can move this arm up and down and we see that the this part here moves as desired and the rod end bearing can accommodate that and it can also uh, accommodate uh, the other the other any other motion that might be in due to misalignment or or whatever and it moves really uh, quite freely you can see I can rotate that around it moves nicely and the design is uh, fully customizable so and uses parameters so you can adjust it to fit whatever your application might be <clears throat> once I printed it initially it was stuck together but uh, I, uh, I'm not sure what the best way to, uh, to, uh, to get the sphere on the inside free is but I just used a set of adjustable pliers and held on to the the end of the shell here and then I put a uh, allen key through the hole here and then I just applied torque and until it uh, broke free and then I was able to move it around. Thanks for watching.